Could this be silver? Let me get around. Could this be silver? I think that might be silver. Let me. This is just beautiful. Right, we're gonna hunt around this old tree right here, see what we come up with. Hopefully we get something we can show you. Well, I am working this field out here. We came all the way from way up there, walked down here, slipped in some sheep poop, got it on my pants. It won't smell like sheep poop. I gotta be careful how I say that. Uh, and uh, started working this field, it's real muddy. I mean, look how muddy it is getting a bunch of modern trash but here is a good find right there got a 22 24 and look at that got my first coin let me get my other camera and we'll get it cleaned up see what it did well it's not gonna be well it's not gonna be as old as I thought it was gonna be it's just gonna be a, a King George the uh, fifth I think or the fourth, I don't know which one that is, but I can turn it over. I can see Britannia, and right there on the bottom, uh, right, let me get right there. You can't really see it on the bottom. It's, I think it's 1910, and that'll be about the right date, 1910. Uh, it's not what I want here in England. We dig a lot of these up. These are just like wheat pennies back in the States. But I'll take it. It's something. It gives me a little hope that there's something out here. Let's keep going. Yeah, me and Nugget back walking around again left the group we we're probably half a mile away we're just walking down this country lane this is a two-way road believe it or not we're walking way up on the hill that's where we got to go we haven't found nothing but a, a coin and a bunch of lead so Wells is 
be in a letdown right now. So maybe, maybe after lunch we're going to get onto a better spot. We'll see. Well, down here in this bottom pasture, we're way, stands way up there, about a half a mile away. I've just got a 21, 22, and it's right there. I don't know what it is. Looks like a piece of lead. Maybe has some writing on it. It's round. It's stamped. It's hold. I don't know. That's weird. It's got a hole in it right there. All right, we'll keep moving. Well, I got a solid 18. I just dug it up and popped it out. It's right there. I don't know what that is, but it's definitely a. It's going to be a flat button. Yeah, it's going to be a button. And it's going to have some type of design on it. I don't know what it's going to have on there. I don't know what that is. Maybe a flag? Alright, some type of flat button. Alright, a couple of coins have come out of here and now flat button, so there's still some hope. Let's keep going. Well, I got a 2728. Came back down this field because we dug a King George III right over here, and I wanted to come down here. I'm the only one. Everybody else went up the mountain. I came back down here, and I got a 2728, and that's what I came down here for. Check that out right there. Oh, yeah, that's going to be a good one. I don't know how old that's going to be. Let's uh, pop it. See if we get any definition off of it. A little bit. Let me. Uh, Get my other camera. Let's clean this up. See what we come up with on this one. Hopefully, it's an old one. Best I can tell, it's going to be King George the Third. It looks like the the bust is looking off to the right. If that's the, off to the right, that's going to be King George the Third. You can kind of see Britannia, and the uh, right there would be the date. I'm really not sure. It's going to be 1795 to 1816, but you can see Britannia there sitting with her arm held out with a rod. And uh, if you look, let me see if I can kind of just wet it just a little bit. With my, you kind of see the bust right there. Looking to the right, big old nose. That's going to be King George the Third. All right, I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can get a King George the Second now. Let's keep going. I was getting 18 to 19 here. We got a little bitty coin. This looks like it's going to be more modern. It's a half something, half penny. It looks like it's going to have Queen Victoria on it. Yeah, this may be more modern. I don't know where the date might be on these. But uh, I don't know if it's modern or not. So I'm not going to clean it up too much. It looks modern. All right, let's keep going. Got a 13, and it scared me for a second when I popped it out. Check that out. Came up shiny like that. It's just going to be a tomback button. You see the back, the shank is broke or something. I don't know what that is. May not be a tomback. I don't sure. I'm not sure. Looks like it is. But uh, yeah, that almost looks like a silver coin. That scared me. It's kind of got some broken edges on it and stuff. All right, let's keep moving. I'm gonna live dig this one. Look at that, 33, 32. Oh wow, that is a high pitch like silver. I don't know what this is gonna be. I hope it's silver. Something good, could be a large copper, but it's got that silver tone to it. Let's see what this is. Let's hope it's going to be silver. Oh, 
Oh, no, nope, it's going to be a large copper though. There it is, right there. Give me a large copper. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe this is a KG2. Let me get the other camera. We'll clean it up. I don't know what I have here. I don't recognize this one. It's got some type of definition on it right there. And I flip it over. It's got something right in there. I don't know. I just have to ask Chris when we get back. Boy, it did ring up like a big silver, though. It's not a thick copper, but it's big. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep going. See what else we can get. Well, I just got a, about an 18, 19 signal. Kind of faint. I knew it's kind of deep. Uh, I just uncovered it. Check that out. Look how deep it is. It's uh, at least six inches, five inches deep. Let's uh, pluck it out. Let's see what it is. That's going to be... I don't know what that is. Let me get my other camera. Let's we'll see if we can get cleaned up before it dries out. This isn't going to be old. It's just going to be 1918. It's going to be just a modern day penny. Uh, they're kind of all over England and Wales. Alright, we'll keep going. I thought it was going to be a King George II with the face to the left like that, but uh, it's not. Let's keep going. Well, we got a 17 signal. And I got a thimble. It could be silver. It doesn't feel silver. It's too light. Maybe just aluminum. All right, let's keep going. I don't know what that is, but it looks old, doesn't it? Got some fancy all over it. All right, let's keep digging. Well, I got a solid 19. And I... Uh, wasn't about three inches deep. Definitely going to be a coin. Ah, maybe. Maybe I have a King George II. That's what I've been looking for. Let me get my other camera. Let me clean this up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, I believe this is going to be a King George II. I finally got one. See, it's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like the uh, he's looking to the left, the bust. He's looking to the left, and uh, it's old. You can tell by how thin it is. Nothing on the back that I can get off right now. I have to clean it up later on. But I believe that's King George II. That's going to put me into the 1700s for sure, along with that big penny I found. All right, got the 1700s, 1800s, and the 1900s represented today. All right, let's keep going. See what else we can get before the sun goes down. Check this out. 2425. It's got some good depth on it. I dug my other King George just right there. And I'm right here. Could this be a King George the third spill? Let's live dig this one and let's see. sidewall there. Let's see if it's going to be right there. Yep, still down in the hole. Let's uh, keep going here. Okay. Well, check that out. It's not a King George, but Check that out. It's gonna be a big old, a big old heart. Let's clean it up and see if there's anything on it. I don't know what this is gonna be. It could be part of a, something off a, a horse saddle. You can see on the where it was attached on the top and bottom. But it's uh, it's copper, and it's uh, pretty big. Check it out. I'll take relics like this. I like that kind of stuff. Just right here where I found that King George. So I'm gonna kind of circle around here and see what I can find. All right, I got a 25 right here. Let's live dig this one and see if that's not gonna be a, hopefully a King George II. Let's see what we got here. All right, a 
just in the plug. Uh oh. Could this be silver? Let me get around. Could this be silver? I think that might be silver. Let me get a close up with my other camera. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Looks like silver to me. Let's pluck it out and see. That is a six pence. Yes, this is going to be silver. It's got a date on the bottom of it. Let me clean it up and let me see what it is. It's time to break out the holy water. Looks like 1864. What do you guys see? 1864 six pence. Oh, got a silver on my fourth day. Got a silver. I didn't get the 1400 silver. I guess I'm running out of water. Check that out. Let's get into the light where you can see it. There we go. Yeah, I'll take a sixpence. 1864. Sixpence. All right. Fourth day, fourth silver. I'll take it. Let's keep on going. Well, here is day four wrap up. Uh, these are my finds. Had a pretty good day. Not too much uh, before lunch. I just got one coin before lunch, and all this rest came after lunch. I got a hem weight, a very big, huge musket ball, a small musket ball, a two ringer bullet, some type of uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, got an aluminum thimble. Some type of decorative piece, and then a horse's bridle rosette, heart rosette. You can see where it was attached right there. That was a nice find. Rang up really good. Got uh, four flat buttons, and this will be my best one. It's a nice tomback button. I thought it was a silver coin when it popped out of the ground like that. It looks just like silver. Then here are my coins for the day. These are modern pennies uh, from 19... One is 1918, the other is uh, 1919, I believe, and 1970 penny. And then I got a King George III, which is going to be anywhere from uh, 18, 1795 to 1816. And then I got a King George II. There's Britannia, you can kind of see her. These are going to go into the uh, the 1700s, mid 1700s, early to mid 1700s, and then I got this huge penny, and uh, I haven't identified this one yet. It's got some markings on it, but I don't know which way it goes. It's got some markings there too, and so I'm going to ask our tour guide what he thinks it might be. But it's big. These are size of half dollars. And you can see that it's smaller than a half dollar. It's a big coin. Rang up like a 36, 35 on the uh, Equinox 800. But the best find of the day is this 1864 uh, six pence. I believe it's Queen Victoria. And uh, very nice. Let me see if I can get zoomed in on it a little bit. Very nice six pence. And uh, so that was the find of the day. That's day four, four silvers. And so we had a good day today. And uh, hopefully we're going to go out tomorrow. It's supposed to, be, supposed to be very wet and cold and raining tomorrow. But we're going to see what we can go. We're going to a Bronze Age and a Roman period uh, field. So hopefully we'll get something real good. And if we do, we'll definitely show you. But until then, I just want to wish everybody a happy hunting. And just tell everybody, God bless. God bless.